Okay, I'll put it to you this way. I'm a Jew. The head of Hezbollah has said that he hopes that we will gather in Israel so he doesn't have to hunt us down globally. For it or against it? For it. What we are facing is a radical force within Islam that originated in Egypt with the Muslim Brotherhood. There are not two rights in the Middle East. There is evil and there is right. There's no question, particularly in the liberal arts and humanities, the left dominates the professorship, they dominate the faculty. Good education means you're being taught both sides of the story. And that's not happening on the campuses right now. And what's wrong with the left is its agendas, what it actually does. Not what it says, but what it does. American empire is going down just like other empires have gone down. University funds it and turns a blind eye. There are whole departments here, the visual arts department, that are sponsoring this hate week. What's happened now is you have a coalescing between the, uh, the radical left and radical Islam. They'll have this kind of strange alliance, even though it seems like they would have absolutely nothing in common, except for they have a common enemy, and that enemy is us. That, that enemy is the liberties and freedoms that the West holds dear. Millions all around the country are starting to wake up. But there is a sense of frustration that we are losing our country and people just don't know what to do. Here again, David Horowitz. First, let me say that I have been waiting for just conservatives to wake up for 20 years. I always refer to these people as liberals. There's nothing liberal about these people except their attitudes towards drugs, hard drugs, and sex. <laughs> That's what they're liberal about. Everything else, they want to control your life. They're intolerant, they're bigoted, and they will try to destroy you, as you're finding out, <laughs> if you disagree with them. The David Hortz Freedom Center, it's a nonprofit research educational organization. Our goal and our, our mission is to identify America's enemies at home and abroad, to identify the left, and to educate Americans about how we can protect America, how we can fight the left on campuses, in the media, in Hollywood. We've created websites and we write pamphlets. Uh, we go and speak on campuses about the threats to America and Western civilization and to Israel and to educate Americans about how serious this threat is and how we can combat it and defend our, our values. David Horowitz knows more about the threat from the left than anyone else in America. And all of us here owe him a debt of gratitude for devoting literally his life to the cause of defeating the left in America. Well, the Freedom Center was started by David Horowitz and Peter Collier 22 years ago now. They wanted to start a nonprofit, an organization to kind of further their campaigns. They had been talking and thinking about these things. They had been writing partners back since the early 60s on the left together, edited Ramparts magazine. So they went through the transformation from the left to the right at the same time. We drew a line and the line was, it Somebody has not come to the conclusion, to, to the understanding through their experience that communism is the threat, um, then they haven't truly had second thoughts. The beginning of political morality, in our view, is anti-communist. Even though David is no longer a leftist, of course, he's a conservative, he still is an, an activist, almost a radical at heart, and it's all about changing things and shaking up the establishment. The big secret of the left is it claims to be the champion of poor people, minorities, women, children, when in fact it is the oppressor of minorities, women, and children. The thing with the primary importance that we do is working on the campuses. It's reaching out to students who are being indoctrinated with leftist indoctrination on the campuses. A prominent conservative activist taking the war on terror to America's college campuses. David Horowitz is organizing workshops, film screenings, and protests. It's all part of an event called Islamo Fascism Awareness Week. I mean, the university is supposed to cherish intellectual diversity, freedom of thought, and freedom of speech. When a university allows a leftist group or a, a group like the Muslim Student Association, 
to block free speech. And we've seen this, there's a number of conservative speakers, it's happened to David. When he gets a pie thrown in his face at Butler University, or when he has students get up and shout him down where he cannot finish his speech. On college campuses coast to coast, it's Islamofascism Awareness Week. Uh, it's a week to make people aware that they, our enemy are Islamofascists and uh, that they're oppressing uh, women and that the uh, campus uh, faculties are not talking about this. I have so many uh, scars on my back and have been called so many names for so long. Uh, it really doesn't make that much of a difference for me to come to a campus and have to say this. There's no professor that you have on this campus who will be willing to take the risk of being called names like this to raise this question. So you can't discuss this question in Columbia, and that should horrify you. I think most Americans now realize that the, the universities are kind of in the camp of the left. The question now is what can we do about it? So we have to continue to educate and train to try to kind of take our campuses back to restore intellectual diversity on the universities. That's really, I think, our, our number one achievement. I think David's legacy will be in uh, working on the campuses. When you are radical, what you are thinking of is power. It's about power. You adopt this position, you take up that issue, but it's all to advance the power. They want to know, where, you know what they can get away with it, to advance this big agenda, which is you get power and you change everything. We are five days away from fundamentally transforming the United States of America. That's the way they think. The David Hortz Freedom Center is kind of, I mean, that is the umbrella organization. And within the organization, we have a number of programs. And among those programs are I think, five or six websites. The main ones, frontpagemagazine.com, is our daily news magazine. And then we also have studentsforacademicfreedom.org. We have newsreelblog.com. We also have discoverthenetworks.org, which is an encyclopedia of the left. Discover the Networks. It is fantastic if you want to find out who's connected who and what is going on. Discover the Networks. Please look at this website. We also have Jihad Watch, uh, which is operated by Robert Spencer, but is a program of the Freedom Center. Jihad Watch, as you can imagine from the name, monitors and studies Islam. The Organization of the Islamic Conference, which is the largest voting bloc at the United Nations today, undertook an initiative to compel the West to criminalize what it called Islamophobia. It includes under the rubric of Islamophobia any discussion of the Islamic texts and teachings that Islamic terrorists use to justify what they're doing. We would be unable to analyze the motives and goals of our enemies and thus be rendered mute and helpless, defenseless, not able to say anything about it. David Horowitz and Peter Collier together, they understand the motivation and the goals of the left, I think better than anybody. There's not another organization that understands the left and has been able to educate Americans about the nature of the threat from the left and radical Islam. It's critical that we get support. It's critical that we're able to sustain and continue our mission because I don't think there's another organization that could step in and do exactly what we do. Thank David for having persevered and developed the Restoration Weekend into an extraordinary event. Uh, you have the courage uh, to be in the heart of the other team's camp and to stand firmly for what you believe to be true, and you've really made a difference for America. And I'm, Cliss and I are thrilled to be here with you.